All right, what we're talking about is test printing. Once you have your printing block actually carved, um, now we're going to test it and see if it works and see if there's any high areas that I need to recarve, if you will. Um, you will need um, some sort of paint or some ink. You could use like uh, an ink pad that totally works. Um, and you also need something like a paper plate or some cardboard or something to put the paint on so you don't make a huge mess. I have a, a plastic tray that I'm using, um, but the idea is you want to take your actual printing block and put it on the ink or use the brayer. We'll talk about that in just a sec. I'm going to put this down, see if it'll transfer some on there, and then I'm going to test it. Okay, so I push down on the other side and see what it prints. Nice. I have a few lines that you can see uh, along the edges that also dyed my printing block that I might want to recarve. Um, another way to do this is to use a big paintbrush. Um, a flat one is preferred, so you can take some paint and and paint paint it on to your actual thing and then print it. That totally works. Um, these are actually called brayers. It is not a paint roller, okay? It doesn't absorb any paint. It's just very flat, it's a rubber surface, um, and it coats very lightly and just gives you a nice thin coat over there. Don't squish any of the paint in the areas you don't want to print. You just wanna go on that flat area that you actually want to print. So I can go like this, and uh, there's another test print. So that one obviously comes out a lot stronger because it is paint. Um, but it does actually dye this a little bit, so I know some areas I need to recarve, and um, that's test printing.